Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see some tips and tricks for uh, developer console in Salesforce. So we are going to see how we can query efficiently uh, using query editor in developer console. So let's start. Uh, so firstly, what is developer console? Developer console is an uh, IDE, uh, integrated development environment provided by Salesforce for uh, developing Apex classes, Aura components, of other metadata stuff. So uh, efficiently, it is part of the Salesforce platform. So that uh, so you don't need to install any other software to start the development for the Salesforce uh, platform. Uh, so firstly, let's see uh, how we can query efficiently using the query editor in the developer console. So I'll quickly, I'm in the developer console. So let's see uh, how we can use the query editor here. So uh, firstly, if I'll go to file, I have two options, open and open resource. If I click on open, depends on or to or, but sometimes it takes a lot of time to load. Uh, so here we can see that there are classes, triggers, pages, objects, uh, and other stuff. So if I click on file and I click on open resource, so open resource, uh, a pop-up, uh, here, if I know the object, let's say I want to query the account object, I'll quickly search account.obj and I click on enter. Boom, I get all the account fields uh, which I can query. So I'll uh, I'll select some of the fields here. Uh, I'll click on control and I'll select the fields here. So whatever fields I select, uh, they uh, and when I click on query, uh, those fields uh, and SQL query would be created for me automatically there. So I'll just select some of the fields and click on query. So you can see once I clicked on query uh, and uh, SQL query has been created for me. And if I click on execute and I have got the uh, results here. So uh, now uh, in the query grid, you can see we have options as save rows, insert rows, delete rows and refresh grid. So one important feature of uh, this query grid is you don't need to move away from developer console just need to make change here let's say for uh, this account i want to change the name i want to change it to youtube i'll click on change i'll click double click on the name field and you can see a red icon is being shown here i'll click on this and i click on save rows and boom this record has been changed and uh, the name here is now youtube now if uh, if this row is selected and i click on open detail page here in the access in the Salesforce, we have three buttons, create new, open detail page and edit page. So if uh, you have an object uh, ID present, and if you click on create new, uh, it based on the ID, it will open new uh, object create page. And op when you click on open detail page, it will open the uh, detail page of the object. So uh, I'll click on open detail page here. So you can see it has redirected, uh, it is redirecting me to the account page. Uh, and if I click on details, I can see the account name is YouTube, which I changed from the developer console. Now, if I'll, I'm back in the developer console, now let's see how we can insert a new row without using the execute anonymous window. So if I click on insert row, a new row has been inserted for me. Now, uh, I'll name it new row insert YouTube. I've named, uh, so when you create an account, only the name field is mandatory. So you need to fill all the mandatory fields. You need to query all the mandatory fields and uh, fill that. And once you do that, click on save rows. And once you save a row, you can see the ID is populated and this new record has been inserted successfully uh, in the Salesforce org. Now, let's say you want to delete it. Just select this and click on delete row delete one row from account and boom that uh, row has been deleted so uh, one use case of this delete row is let's say you want to delete logs uh, and sometimes the debug logs has hit the limit and new logs are not being created so in that case what you will do is click on open resource uh, with the shortcut as control shift and o search for apex logs dot obj and uh, it will take some time to load its field click on the fields uh, the id fields and click on query click on execute execute and you can see there are 22 logs present now you don't want these uh, debug logs 
just select all the rows here and click on delete row delete 22 row from debug logs and you can see that uh, that rows have been deleted successfully from this debug log so the deletion happens uh, sequentially so uh, firstly few rows will be deleted then few rows will be deleted i need to click on refresh grid to see the change in the rows now if i click on refresh grid i can see all the debug logs has been deleted successfully so now let's go back to our ppt and click go to the next slide so we also have an option to use the tooling api in the developer console so let's understand what is tooling api tooling uh, we can use tooling api when we need fine grained access to the org's metadata tooling api's sockle capabilities for many metadata types allows you to retrieve smaller pieces of metadata smaller retrieves uh, smaller pieces of metadata means improved performance which makes tooling api a better fit for developing interactive applications so other use cases for it are we can use it for source control ci cd and apex class and trigger deployment so if i'll go to uh, the developer console again and i'll query the custom labels so from custom label and if i click on execute i can see uh, i got an error that custom label is not supported because custom label is not a sales uh, is not a object that is present locally so you need to use a uh, tooling api uh, to be able to query it so once i have set, uh, checked the use tooling api checkbox i can see that now i'm able to query the custom label and based on that you can quickly query the custom labels in the developer console so uh, so you can use the tooling api for uh, other stuff i will create a different video on it uh, later so now finally uh, let's uh, see how we can work efficiently with apex classes in developer console so i'll go to developer console i'll click on uh, open resource and i'll type apex class dot obj so i they all whenever you create a new apex class a new record for the apex class object is created so if i'll select all these fields and i click on query execute so i'll see all the apex classes that are present in my uh, org so currently i have 1500 apex classes present i can see their name i can see their api version i can see if the status is active or not i can even see the body here i can see the body and created by modified by and all those fields so so you want to search all the apex classes which have a specific uh, word in that let's say the list of account how you will find that click on edit click on search in files and search for list of account so now you can see that these all apex classes have the reference of list of account uh, in them so i, I if i'll open one of the uh, apex classes let's say i open this rest web service and open selection I can see that uh, uh, we found the list of account here. That is why it was showing us. Now, uh, now you want to replace all the account occurrences with the contact. So what you will do is you click on edit. You click on find and replace all. So you will uh, tell us that replace account with contact. So uh, now all the occurrences of account has been replaced with contact so yeah this was a basic tutorial on some of the tricks you can use in the uh, developer console a lot of more things that are available in the developer console for example the query plan tool so i'll create separate videos for them so till then i uh, hope you like this video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone